lie. We lie. We lie. We lie. We lie, we lie, we lie, we lie, we lie, we lie, we lie. We lie, everybody. Come on in here. We lie, everybody. Come on in here. You know what I'm saying? We live. We gonna cover all this uh today. You know we're gonna cover all this, you know, uh these are uh, unhealthy vegan foods. These unhealthy ingredients, what's in this vegan food, okay? Everybody want to uh, switch to a healthier diet. They want to be plant-based, okay? And they want to go vegan, okay? Think they eating good with these plant-based burgers. We're going to tell you some of these ingredients just to let you know, okay? When you eating vegan, that's, that's a little bit better than the standard American. But vegan don't mean healthy, and it's probably the reason why you're still gaining weight while you're vegan. You're still having this hemorrhaging. You're still having these issues while you uh don't switch your diet to vegan. You might got a little bit better since you uh laid off of the standard American diet or just a little bit, but you got more, more progression to go don't stop at vegan keep going ultimately you want to be eating by 85 90 percent of the time you just want to be eating fruit all right you want to be eating fruit really all right so let me check in and see how many of y'all we got up in this thing That's what we're here for. I'm here to let you know what's real and what's not. That's what we're here for, okay? That's what we're here for, all right? Unhealthy vegan options. Unhealthy vegan meat ingredients. Unhealthy vegan foods, all right? All right? Number one, numero uno, beyond meat. I'm talking about the burgers, the the uh, breakfast sausage, uh, the, the 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 sausages, the hot dogs, whatever you want to call them. Okay, number one thing that's bad for you, that's a vegan option, that's plant based option. Beyond meat, number one, it got pea protein isolate. Pea protein, they take a yellow pea. Okay, number one, it's a processed food. It's a processed food. All processed foods bad for you. Alright. They take the yellow pea, okay, which go through a chemical process, which turn the peas, okay, into an isolate. So then you got the pea protein isolate. Alright. Bad for you. The satin. Or the seitan, however you want to say it. Artificial protein, very high in sodium. Play on your blood circulation, hypertension, blood pressure, overall uh, blood issues. Okay? No good vegan meat. Okay? Canola oil. Canola oil cause inflammation on the brain. Has no nutrition. Alright. Always check your ingredients. Okay. Always check your ingredients. If it's a paragraph. Put it back. If when you check your ingredients. On all everything you go in the store and pick up. 
you check the ingredients on it. If it's a paragraph, just put it back. It just put it back. Don't even try to read all that junk on there. Alright? And then especially if you see some words you don't need to say for instance, you see a word like, okay, you vegan. Or uh, let's say you see a word like uh maltodextrin. Maltodextrin ain't gonna do nothing but spike your blood sugar level. It ain't gonna do nothing but raise your blood pressure. It ain't gonna do nothing but mess up your blood circulation. It ain't gonna do nothing but rob you of some iron. Maltodextrin. That's what he's gonna do. You got vegan cakes, vegan cookies, got all this stuff in it. Okay. Uh bamboo cellulose. Okay. Bamboo cellulose. They put that in the beyond meat. Okay. That's wood chips. They use it to make fabric. Bamboo cellulose. Okay. Then they got some methyl cellulose. That's made from wood pulp and cotton. They put it in the meat. Okay, in the beyond meat. M E T H Y cellulose is made from wood pulp and cotton. They put it in the beyond meat. Then you got potato starch. Any kind of starch is going to be just straight up bad for you. Any kind of starch, play on your pancreas, diabetes, um, cardiovascular system, going to get you heart disease. Okay, make you gain weight. Obesity, okay, starch, potato starch, all right, and then we know maltodextrin, maltodextrin just gonna spike your blood sugar levels, all right, then you got yeast extract, that ain't never processed, uh, that's a that's a processed food, yeast extract, yeast, all yeast bad for you, okay, nutritional yeast ain't no good, uh, it don't matter, okay. No, if you need if you need something to help you ride, get you some sparkling spring water, okay. Sparkling spring water, then make you some aqua fiber, okay. Cook you some chickpeas. Take that broth left over from that chickpeas, boil it about five ten minutes. That's your aqua fiber. Whip it up with a hand mixer, okay. Bake with that. Bake with that. Alright, you just gotta learn some new stuff. Alright. Then you got uh you got salt. They got salt, that's hypertension. Okay, you know that's gonna be high blood pressure. Table salt. You don't want no table salt. You want sea salt. Alright. But you don't want to use it all the time. Alright. Then you got vegan corn. All corn is starch. Corn ain't even real. Corn is the hybrid. The real corn. It's called Teosinte. T-E-O-S-I-N-T-E. -E. Okay. Teosinte. It's a small plant. Got a kernel like a corn. Alright, but it ain't no corn. Corn is hybrid. Corn is starch. I already told you starch gonna play on your pancreas. Gonna play gonna give you diabetes. Gonna do your uh heart disease, cardiovascular, so it's gonna make with your your heart, blood flow, blood circulation, gonna make you gain weight. Alright. Okay. No, not pink Himalayan salt. Sea salt only. Sea salt only. Not pink Himalayan salt. Sea salt. Alright. Sea salt. Sea salt. Okay. Not pink Himalayan. Alright. Um. All bread. That gluten free bread. What you think good for you? You go into the store. You trying to get healthy bread. You go to the bread aisle, you get that gluten-free bread. You think it's good. You get the wheat bread. You think it's good. But guess what they got in it? Uh, 
Tapoca starch. I guess that's how you say that word. T A P I C T A P I O C A. How you say that word? However you say it. Starch. Alright. Tapioca starch. Starch. Okay. Once again, gonna play on your diabetes. Gonna play on your heart disease. Alright. Then they got egg whites in there. We already know it. Do, do what y'all do. Uh, if y'all don't know about eggs, all right. If it's a documentary on Netflix called "What the Health," all right, watch that. Check it out. It'll tell you about how bad eggs is. People that think they going to a more healthy diet, they want to switch to they eating their eggs every day like they like this some sort of healthy thing. Eggs ain't it's so bad they can't even list it on the category of health foods. It's so bad for your cholesterol. Okay. No. Ain't nothing about eggs good. Okay. Then you got uh some of your bread gonna have enriched flour in it, gonna have brown rice flour in it, gonna have all these old different kind of flowers that ain't no good for you. Alright, then it gonna have apple cider vinegar in it. Apple cider vinegar ain't no good. Yeah, you yeah. I know some of y'all some of y'all gonna go to bat for apple cider vinegar. Yes it is good. I've been using it since my mama was using it, since my grandmama was using it. Apple cider vinegar ain't no good. Alright. Apple cider vinegar it might it might clean you out, but that vinegar is gonna dry your skin out, you're gonna be wrinkled and all you gonna be wrinkled at 30. Alright, messing with all that vinegar, you're going to be wrinkled at 30, you're going to be dry, then you're going to be wondering why your boyfriend got the spit starcher when every time y'all go to bed at night. You shouldn't have to get spit started, you're going to let that vinegar dry you out. Alright, I'm just trying to help you. Alright, you got that uh, Zaytan gum, however you uh, say it, X-A-N-T-H-A-N-G-U-M, that's bad for you. Okay? All this stuff going to be in this so-called gluten-free bread was supposed to be a healthier option for us, okay? But none of that stuff ain't healthy, all right? Learn how to do your spelt flour, that's good flour. Tilf flour, that's good flour, T-E-F-F. Rye flour, R-Y-E, that's good flour, okay? Uh, quinoa flour, that's good flour, all right? Not the coconut flour. You don't want to heat the coconut. Anything that got to do with applying heat to the coconut, you don't want to get that. You don't want to apply no heat to the coconut. The coconut oil or the olive oil, you don't want to apply no heat to that. All right? You just want to leave it be. All right? Okay? But you good on the rest, though. No, li or listen, I done told y'all, get rid of that word organic out of your vocabulary, alright, just because it got organic, that don't mean nothing, they put organic on seedless fruit, that don't make it healthy, we know it can't be no good for us if it ain't got no seed in it. Alright, wheat ain't no good, wheat, grass, juice ain't no good, amaranth, amaranth, what you want, amaranth, okay, get you some amaranth, red clover benefits, I have some, you have some red clover, red clover benefits, it's gonna help you with overall uh, vagina, discharge, uh, cysts help you with cramping if you got fibroids anything dealing with your okay female reproductive system red clover is the you got the right herbs all right make you a dish to make you a dish with that red clover all right uh phoebe already took her a bath with some today so she been on her red clothes. She been on her thing. But uh, yeah, 
Drink you some tea with that red clover every day. Use that red clover, all right? Use that red clover. Yeah, you should not be finding watermelons right now. Um, what is amaranth? Amaranth is a it's a it's a, it's a sprout. It's a green. Look it up. Okay, you can look up amaranth. Amaranth greens, arugula greens. Um, these is the most natural. Okay, uh, plants. That's that's what that's what being healthy is. Being healthy, eating healthy. Is eating the foods that's closest to nature. Alright. Eating the foods that's closest to nature. If the food been hybridized. We don't want to get the hybridized option. We want to go back to the one when it wasn't hybridized. We want to eat that. Okay. Alright. Just like this right here. Uh, Somebody said war down eagle. War down. War down. War down. Um, amaranth, watermelon. Yes, look. If you find that watermelons in the store right now, it's 100% guaranteed they seedless. Okay? If you find the watermelons in January, I guarantee you they seedless. All right? You don't want no seedless fruit. Seedless fruit, pointless. All right? So I could put it in the bath. Yes, you could put that red clove in the bath. Yes. Yes, you could take bath with a ruru. Right. Hey, look, if you want seeded fruits, you got to start going. I don't know what city y'all live in. Hey, y'all type, put y'all city in there. Put, put y'all city. Where y'all from? Everybody put y'all city, y'all stay in there so I can see where y'all from. Put y'all city and y'all stay in there. Where y'all from? Let me see where y'all from. California, Amsterdam, Chicago, Arkansas, Indianapolis. Now listen. Uh, California, y'all. Okay, South Carolina. Hey, South Carolina. Now you shouldn't have no issue getting no type of health this water. You shouldn't have no issue, South Carolina. Especially in Geechee land. Gullah Geechee. Shout out Gullah Geechee. You shouldn't have no issues. You shouldn't have no issues. But listen, if y'all living up north, up north, what I've been noticing, I talk to a lot of people, you know, that, that, that's been trying to transition to eat healthy. Up north got the worst healthy options. Y'all don't really got no stoves that 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 sell nothing. Alright? That sell nothing. So if it was like a section of the country or a section of the USA that I would say like it's kind of exempt from um shout out Birmingham, England. That's exempt from um you know cause they can't find everything. It'll be like up north people because I know it's kind of like y'all don't really got any. Do y'all got any international stores up there? What y'all got up north? Chicago people, Indianapolis people, Nebraska, what's going on? Detroit, Miami, what's going on, MIA? Georgia, Netherlands, Detroit, Mississippi, San Diego. San Diego, you should be able to find some out there. Y'all, y'all, that's I, what I've been finding out too. That's further out west you go is uh, more vegan oriented. So, California, uh, you should be able to find you some healthy, you know, uh, alkaline. Foods and these vegan foods, what we think is healthy, okay, ain't even really healthy for you. So I went, you know, switching from eating chicken and going to getting it beyond meat. That ain't really you don't want to get hooked on that. You don't want to get hooked on beyond meat. All right, um, y'all need to find y'all some uh international markets. Start googling y'all international markets that's close beside y'all. Uh, Asian markets, Indian markets, Mexican markets. All right, start going to them. Start going to them. I can get you. I can. Get, yeah, I know y'all probably ain't got the list, the alkaline list. I got a list. I can get to you if you just email me. Carbon based cell food. I'm gonna put my email in the chat. 
email me, I'll send you a list of the alkaline food list, and you can just pick your foods from that list best you can. Best you can use that list, get what you need. All right. If you need to learn how to cook alkaline food, I got a YouTube channel for you. I already done been cooking this food. I got the YouTube channel with the videos already. All you got to do is subscribe to the YouTube. Hit my little Instagram link in my bio. Subscribe to the YouTube. Follow me on Instagram. All right. Then if you want the recipes, I got a recipe book for you on the website. It's whatever you want to do. All right. It's whatever you want to do. All right. Email carbon based food at gmail. I can send you a alkaline food list and then you can just start looking up. I use a couple websites like uh Miss High Naturals dot com. I'ma put it in the chat. Uh where I get some alkaline stuff. Miss High Naturals dot com. Alright. I use that. Y'all check that website out. Got some good healthy stuff on there, alright? And then if I get some bread, I get it from um I get it from naturalberlinbakery.com. But the bread, I'm gonna be honest with you. When I use it, um when you get the bread, if you get it, I'm just saying if you get it, um from Natural Berlin Bakery, um I fr you have to freeze it when you get it. The one that you're not using, you have to freeze it. But the bread is kind of like stiff and dry a little bit. So you kind of like maybe have to moisten it up. Maybe like do it like French toast or something like that. But that's the only bread, you know, I would say get if you're going to buy some bread. But me personally, I like to make my uh my, my uh spelt tortillas, my, my chickpea tortillas, my quinoa tortillas, okay? I make my own right here at the crib. All right. So if you want to know how to make that, it's go. It's, it's the video on the YouTube. Subscribe to the YouTube. All right. I'm gonna put the Natural Berlin Bakery website in the um, chat. Y'all, somebody might want to check it out. Somebody might want to check it out. All right. All right. Is it considered vegetarian? Is the goal to go meatless? That's my goal. Listen. Vegetarian, vegan, any diet that you could think of, keto diet, uh, vegetarian, vegan, uh, uh, Ayurveda, any any diet you could think of, okay? It's just a it's just a phase, it's just a stepping stone to the to the next progression stage for you, okay? Well, if you switched from the standard American diet and going to vegetarian, okay? You don't supposed to stay vegetarian. Alright? You understanding that you letting go of some of these bad foods, so you switch to vegetarian. When you switch to vegetarian, it's still some of these bad food that you consuming. So then you might want to switch to vegan. When you switch to vegan, you don't let go more of these bad foods but it's still bad foods in this vegan category what you consuming what you think is healthy but it really ain't okay then you go from vegan to alkaline okay you ain't you ain't pure alkaline okay it's a battle going on right now let me just stop and say this it's a little battle going on right now they got a lot of people in the alkaline community you got a a uh, 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 divisive group of people on this side They say Ain't no way you can cook the food And it remain alkaline Then you got a bunch of people on this side That say Yes you can cook the food And it still be alkaline Okay I'm with them I'm with the people that say you can Alright I'm with them Okay But The fruits in the rawest form is the purest form of alkaline. And that's recommended if you trying to heal. If you trying to heal, you need to be on absolutely mandatory 100% raw fruits, raw vegetables, herbs, water, sea moss, 
the entire the entire healing duration okay absolutely 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 but if you a healthy eater is no ill will in cooking your mushrooms cooking your zucchini you have to cook these tinctures that we make the people that you order these herbal tinctures from and these herbal blends from they cook them the elderberry syrup they cook them on a the stove okay so you can't say that if you cook the food then it ain't alkaline but you're gonna cook the herbal blends but it is alkaline you can't have it eat both ways okay you can energy everything is energy everything it can neither be created nor destroyed okay so if you cannot destroy energy how, how, how you kill it by cooking if it's already alkaline how you kill it is it alkaline in its purest form no that would be the raw that would be the raw but just because i cook my my my, my squash and my zucchini and my greens okay i'm living proof i'm living proof okay i went from like 200 to like right now i'm like 170 okay 165 170 okay but i was like 200 fat jaws fat neck okay all that yeah 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 i started fasting i started fasting and then i learned how to cook i learned how to cook okay once i learned how to cook now it's just it's just a part of life it's just regular for me it's just regular okay it's just regular all right so i'm gonna say it once again if you trying to heal something all right you need to be on 100 percent raw alkaline fruit and vegetables and herbs and water and sea moss okay the entire healing duration that's the only way you're gonna heal by putting all this nutrition in you and letting your body take it where it's supposed to go clean your cells okay you get rid of all these waste now your organs can function now your organs got oxygen now you don't got no bed for disease inside of you all right that's how that's healing that's how you heal okay but you is not in the wrong okay if you want to cook your alkaline food, you is not in the wrong. Okay? He said, you hit, um, I ain't started hitting the gym yet. I just been doing like, I got a little regimen I do at home, like push-ups. I be watching some dudes on, on TikTok. They be doing some little push-ups and stuff. So I done stole a couple of their little um sets. Yeah, so this year I'm giving myself all the way to probably like uh, December to you know t uh, lock in and hone in on it. I ain't started hitting the gym yet. Um, my thyroid messed up. This will help it. I'm excited to do it. Yes, if your um thyroid is messed up, uh, I ain't forgot about the vegan ingredients. While well, we don't got off topic a little bit, but look, not really. But look, if your thyroid messed up. Yeah, okay. If you got hyper, okay, you need to get sea moss and bugle weed. And of course, the alkaline diet. Yes, the alkaline diet is going to help you 100%. If you got hypo on the production, you need sea moss and bladder rack. Okay, these what you need. You need these to, to go with your alkaline diet. This is how you're going to heal your thyroid, your enlarged thyroid, whatever you got. Okay, all right. Said, where do I get food, Miss Patty Denny? You can get um, you mean like where do you order your food from? What's good for um, um, 
Miss Petadina, what do you mean by what do I get food? You mean like the food on the list? Trying to restore kidney function. Um, you would go, like I said, you can always go to like Walmart and stuff to find some of these food, but you will end up. That's how people start saying, "Man, it's expensive eating healthy," because you be going to the wrong spots. Find Google some international markets that's close by you, that's near you. All right, a lot of y'all, some of y'all live up north, some of y'all live in South Carolina or California, you know, Miami. Y'all in some good areas that got good markets that you can get good healthy foods. Farmers markets, produce stands, Asian markets, all of that, all of that. Um, RCL 1075. Yes, I got sea moss. I got herbs. Okay, I got ebooks, recipe books. All that's on my website. Link in the bio. Okay. Sea moss and bladder rack, bladder rack, Trish. Bladder rack, B L A D D E R W R A C K. If you got um hypothyroidism, you need bladder rack. If you got hyperthyroidism, then you need sea moss and bugle weed. B U G L E W E E D, bugle weed. Okay. Um, try art artist artist teal. Trying to restore kidney function. You need some burdock. You need some yellow dock. Some hydrangea. Okay. Some sarsap perilla. Some nettle leaf. Trying to restore your kidney. Alright. Anytime. That I. Or y'all ask. What can help me. With this. Anytime that you ask that. Just understand consuming these herbs that's good for whatever that you saying you got. It automatically come with changing your diet. I just got done telling you. If you trying to heal something, you need to be on 100% raw fruits, vegetables, water, herbs, okay, sea moss, smoothies. Raw, it need to be no cooking. Okay, anytime you sick, your body don't need to be using energy to digest cooked food. That's why you don't eat cooked food when you're trying to heal. You want your body to be using this energy to heal you instead of trying to digest this food. That's why you only eat the raw foods. That's why you only drink the water, the sea moss. Straight raw, cause you want your body to use this energy for healing. All right, that's why. No meat at all. Um, autoimmune diseases again. Again, it's it's the same. Any the, the formula is gonna be the same for healing any disease. You're gonna have to switch the diet. That formula is not gonna change, okay? But you got lupus, that's your autoimmune, your 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 defense system is attacking you, okay? You you wanna go with your you still wanna go with your uh, blue vervain, your burdock, your sarsap perilla, okay, your yellow dock. Alright, your fever few. Your thyroid messed up, you want to go with your sea moss, your bladder rack, or your bugle weed, depending on if it's hyper or hypo. Alright, then you got your liver, so you got your burdock, so you got some of that with the lupus, so you're going to be covering all that. Okay, you'll be covering all of that. Alright, but just understand the, the cleaner that your diet be. The cleaner that your diet get, the 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 closer you gonna get to healing. The closer you gonna get to healing yourself. Alright. The cleaner that your diet get. Alright. 
autoimmune disease that's caused my beard hair to fall out from time to time. What can I take? Uh, again, I just got done telling you. You need to take your blue vervain, your bladder rack, I mean your blue vervain, your burdock, your sarsap perilla, okay? You need your uh, yellow dock, okay? Elderberries, okay? You need all these. You need to be taking these herbs in tea form. Uh, a lot of people don't like to make tea. I don't know why. They like to get pills. I ain't one hundred. I ain't against the pills. I ain't against the pills. But when you taking the pills, you gotta digest the pill first. Then you gotta digest the powder herbs. Okay. With the tea, you drink it. It's in your bloodstream. All right. So it's you. You get it. You get it. It's in you. And then if you just got some. If you got some uh some dry herbs like some like right here, this cascara sagrada, this good for your colon. If you got colitis, anything with anything with the digestive system, hemorrhoids, inflammation, okay. But you could just take a piece of this little herb and stick it in your mouth right here in between your gum and just leave it there. Go to sleep with it, okay. That help it get into your bloodstream. That help it get into your bloodstream too. Alright. Any type of uh, dry herb you got. Not the leafy herbs. But the dry herbs. You can use them like that. Okay. You can use them like that. Thyroid. Collard, collard greens, uh, tr just try to get like um, kale greens, turnip greens, mustard greens, all right? Collard greens is a hybrid green, all right? Okay, I'm going on to the next one, okay? I'm going to get back on these ingredients. Hunger is the key to healing activation, hence fasting. Yes, yes. What in a suggestion what to eat for pancreatitis? Listen, it's not what to eat for pancreatitis, it's what to not eat. Stop eating bacon, stop eating chicken, stop eating pork chops. If you drink alcohol, stop drinking. Okay, then you want to do your herbs, okay, your burdock, your yellow dog. Your dandelion, okay? Click the link in the bio. Go to my website. Check out all the herbs I got on there. Alright? Click the link in the bio. Go to my website. Check out all the herbs. It's a description on each herb. What's telling you what it's good for. Alright? The website in my bio. Click the link. Go to it. Every herb you see is going to be a description on there. It's going to tell you exactly what it's good for. Alright, now them ain't the only thing that it's good for, but it's going to give you a good idea. Alright, it's going to give you a good idea. Alright, now we're going to jump back on these ingredients for these unhealthy vegan options, alright. It's dandelion greens. Dandelion greens is good greens. Dandelion greens is good greens. Look, if look this when summertime come and y'all see them dandelions in y'all front yard, man, go get your dandelions. Quit cutting your dandelions down, man, with the lawnmower. Pick your dandelions, man. Quit going to get that. Uh, quit, quit going to buy that round up weed eater. Uh, spraying on your dandelion green, killing your dandelions, man. Pick your dandelions up, man. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? If you uh, if you want to go to Amazon, you can go to Amazon. Okay. I'm just saying you need herbs, all right? You need herbs. And the only one that I can tell you is 100% legit is the link is in my bio, all right? I can vouch for that. I do I do not drink alcohol. No. I don't I do not drink alcohol. Um my dad was a, my dad he's he's still alive, but he's an alcoholic, so 
I've been I was around in my whole life, so I don't I don't like I don't like the I don't I, I never wanted to be it, it turned me off. Dandelion's green good. Uh okay. Um your wife got lupus. Again, blue vervain, burdock, sarsap perilla, elderberry, nettle leaf. Alright. Pal de Yorko. Okay. Evergreen. Them some herbs for lupus. Alright. Alright. Now we back on um we back on uh we back on the ingredients for this unhealthy vegan options, alright? Vegan cheese. Vegan cheese like one of the worst things you can eat. I vegan cheese. It got canola oil in it. Canola oil. Canola oil is uh that's like one of the worst oils you can get. It caught inflammation on the brain. Okay? Canola oil made with your brain. Canola oil made with your brain. Alright? So y'all just think about it. You feeding all these children. You frying all this food in this canola oil, feeding it to these kids. Now these kids in school. Now these teachers talking about these kids got ADHD. To my these kids got ADD. To my these kids got all these mental issues. And the only thing it is, y'all feeding these kids all this canola oil was messing with their brain, playing on their brain. All right. If you clean the baby diet up, the baby behavior will get better. Alright? Don't, okay? Alright? Tofu. Tofu is ain't never soybeans. Alright? And vegan cheese. Then you got soy. Soy is so bad for you. If you're a female, they're going to add more estrogen to you. Overdo you. If you a male, it's going to give you male breasts. It's going to make you look more feminine. Okay, that what soy gonna do to you. All right, then you got lactic acid. Okay, no, no. Okay, then you got uh, Corrigan gums. Okay, they use that to make the cheese thick. No, no. All right, this is vegan cheese with all the ingredients that they put in vegan cheese. All right, all canned good foods. And natural flavors is bad for you. Alright. If it's in a can good. If it's in a can. If you got to pop it open. With a can opener. It's bad for you. Alright. I know you were brought up on the canned goods. I was brought up on the canned goods too. I was brought up on the canned goods too. But they ain't no good for us. Alright. Alright. All your fruit juices that's high in sugars, like your lemonades, your teas, your little uh, body armor drinks you go get. You know, all your little drinks you think you, your power ways, you think you're getting electrolytes back in you. All the Gatorades, you think you, all this stuff is high in sugar. This stuff ain't no good. Alright, all these smoothies that you go get from Smoothie King got all this sugar in it. All these naked smoothies that you get from the store. This stuff ain't no good. Alright, this stuff ain't no good. You need to subscribe to the YouTube. Click the link in the bio and subscribe to my YouTube. Watch these videos and learn how to cook some of this stuff yourself. Alright, that's what you need to be doing. Understanding, growing in maturing is part of understanding how to take care of yourself. As you get older, you shouldn't have to rely on St. Jude Hospital. Now that's for babies. Or with St. John Hospital to take care of you as you get older. As you get older, you're supposed to get smarter. You're supposed to get wiser. Okay? You're supposed to take care of yourself. You're supposed to learn how to take care of yourself. The first law in nature is self-preservation. You're supposed to learn how to take care of yourself. Alright? Alright? 
Okay? Lymphatic system. Tasha. Lymphatic system. Red clover. Hydrangea. Burdock. Um, matter of fact, if you if you click my um click my profile, I got a video I just did not too long ago with lymphatic system. It's all on there too. What herbs to use, Tasha. Click on my um profile and go to my page on TikTok. Scroll down, you'll see the video. It's gonna, it's gonna have a picture of a lymphatic flush. It's right on there. It's right on there for you. Red clover, hydrangea, burdock, sarsap. Okay. All right. Then you want to go get all that uh, all this old them people. You know, I you know I ain't against nobody that's doing healthy stuff that's doing better than what the standard American diet is. I ain't got nothing against it. But you need to understand all these protein powders you be using to build your muscle up and being healthy don't got nothing to do with how you look on the outside. Is physical and strength training good? Yes. Yes. It's good for the body. Being healthy don't got anything to do with how you look on the outside. Being healthy got everything to do with how your organs function. Is your organs functioning right? Did you have to go and get your gallbladder taken out? Did you have to go and get surgery? Okay, did you get your spleen removed? Okay, now we know you ain't healthy because you got organ malfunction. All right. Black cohosh is a good one too. Black cohosh is a good one. It's on my website too. It's on my website too. Hyssop. Hyssop is a good one too. All right. All right. High blood pressure. High blood pressure. Uh... Hawthorn berries, elderberries, burdock, sarsap perilla. Anytime you're dealing with the blood, y'all. Anytime you're dealing with the blood, all right? Elderberries. If you got inflammation in the blood, elderflowers, okay? Anytime you're dealing with the blood, leukemia, sickle cell, uh, clogged arteries, um, Blood circulation. Anytime you're dealing with the blood. If you if you got some elderberry. If you just go elderberry. You'll be good. Alright. You'll be good. Okay. Nerve damage. Blue vervain. That's your central nervous system. I don't think. Again. What's good for everything is fasting and detoxing cleaning your cells that's why you got all these problems you got nerve damage you got liver damage you got all these damages because your body dirty you got to clean that's why you stop eating that's why you eat the fruits that's why you fast so you can clean your body all right so you can clean your body Alright, blue vervain, uh, uh, sarsap perilla, okay, you need that flow, that electric flow, nerve damage, you need some electric flow, sarsap perilla, burdock, okay, blue vervain, alright, for your nerve damage, alright, then she said fibroid, Miss Mika, fibroids is one of my favorite topics, alright. If you go to my YouTube, I got videos up already where I done cover fibroids. Fibroids, the herbs you're going to need. Herbs you're going to need for fibroids. Um, red clover. Red raspberry. Shepherd's purse. Chickweed. Nettle leaf. Dandelion. Blessed thistle. All right. These the herbs you need. Okay. Please tell these trends vegan soy is not good for you. No kind of way. I don't care. I don't care what kind of soy is it. Soy it is. It can be vegan soy. It can be vegetarian soy. It can be New Amsterdam soy. It ain't no good for you. Okay. Soy ain't going to do nothing. If you a female, it's going to mess up your estrogen levels. 
If you a man, it's going to give you female boobies and it's going to make you more feminine. Okay? You 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 ain't your body don't got no need for soy. All right? Your body don't got no need for soy. All right? It's a it's a, click the link in my bio, Mr. Uh, Trump. I'm I'm the only person that I can say that's going I can I can vouch for. All right. Now it's other places you can you know Google online you want to get herbs from, but if you want to get them one hundred, you want to get them one hundred, hit the link in the bio carbonbasedfood dot com. All right. What's best to balance the hormones? Uh, again, the best thing to do is stop stop on if you like dairy, if you like yogurt, if you like chocolate. If you like meat, steaks, and stuff, stop that. And then come back with your uh, your red clothes. Look, if you a female, if you a female, I done said this a million times. And I'm going to keep saying it. You need red clover. You need red clover. You need this herb right here. If you a female, it ain't no reason why. You shouldn't have the herb right here at your house right now. Ain't no reason. Ain't no reason why. If you a female, red clover is the one herb you need. And anytime you got some issues, anytime you got some issues, okay? Anytime you got some women issues, anytime you got women issues, go to your red clover. Use your red clover, okay? If you need to douche, make you something with some red clover. You want to take you a good old nice herbal bath, red clover. You want to take you some early morning tea, red clover. All right. Whenever you in doubt, red clover. All right. Red clover. Red clover. It's the best female herb, discharge, STDs, cysts, uh, tumors. Fibroid, cervical cancer, ovarian cancer is good for the female reproductive system overall. All right, that why it should be. That why y'all should be. That why you should be red clover. Okay, red clover. All right, Miss Danny, I just told you. Did you get that? Red clover, you could drink it as a tea, take a bath with it, douche with it. Did y'all hear that? All right. Gas. So here you go. If you got gas, you need some of this right here. Some Kiskara. Old digestive system, old intestines contracting. Okay. Need a little, need a little, need a little, need a little passage. Need some bitters. Now your bitters, these bitters, the Cascava Sagrada, it's a bitter. It's a bitter herb. Alright? So when you make tea with it, it's gonna be bitter. I use key lines to try to dilute it a little bit so I could drink it. Alright? Most people try to use agave or date syrup to sweeten it up. But I wouldn't recommend you using no sweetener if you got tea you drinking to heal. Okay, just use your key line. Do bit. It's bitter now. It's bitter. You what? Tell me right now. What medicine you don't ever took in your life that was good? You said, man, I want some more medicine. I ain't talking about that old sweet little syrup they make. That syrup. I'm talking about the medicine. The medicine. All medicine nasty. Okay. These medicine. This medicine right here. These bitters. These the best ones. The bitters gonna clean you out. The bitters for you. Anytime you got them bitters, they're gonna be cleaning you out the most. Gonna be doing the most work on you. Alright. Mangola, Hampton. Yes, I got sea moss. Go to my website. Link is in my bio, carbonbasedfood.com. I got the sea moss gel. I got the dry sea moss. All the way up to like a pound. Yeah, I got sea moss. If your gallbladder was removed, what would you recommend? 
I recommend you staying off of the fried foods. Listen, I had a friend who I was working with. He had his gall better removed. And what he did was he he um he was having trouble with it. And he recognized every time he would go to the chicken's plant, to the chicken store and get chicken and eat the chicken, that would make him have pain in the gallbladder. So it had got he had got so bad that he had gonna have to have surgery to get it removed. And he just said he got so tired of it that he decided to just go to the chicken store, get some chicken, just so it can uh inflame, then just so it can rush his surgery. So if you like fried foods, bruh, with vegetable oil and stuff like chicken, stay off of that. Alright? Then you wanna go with your burdock. Your uh, yellow dog, your hydrangea, your powder yarko, okay, nettle leaf, all right, elderberry, okay, get what you want to go with, get what you want to go with. So it ain't a bite. It it it, it is a bite. What's good for these illnesses now? It is, okay. But y'all need to understand. All these different names that y'all throwing at me, asking me what's good for this, it just means that you got an accumulation of mucus in a specific organ in your body. It's only one disease. It just got a different name because it's in a different spot in your body. And it is not 500 million different diseases. Okay? The only disease it is is an accumulation of of extra inflammation, extra mucus, okay? Accumulation. More than what need to be there. Depriving your body of oxygen, okay? That's the disease. Whatever it is depriving your body, whatever part of your body, if it's in your brain, if it's in your nose, if it's in your heart, in your lungs, your liver, your spleen, your kidneys, your gonad area, wherever it's at, that's going to be the disease that you got. It's still the same thing. What's causing the disease? Excess inflammation, excess mucus. That's why we fasting. That's why we detoxing. If you pay attention to it, if you ever done fasted before, if you ever detoxed before, if you pay attention to it, you will start coughing up this phlegm, okay? The darker that the phlegm is, that let you know how bad your illness was. If you got black mucus or green mucus, you know you got a chronic, you had a chronic illness, a real bad illness. Okay? Now if you got yellow mucus or, or that light white clear mucus, okay, it ain't as bad as that green, but you know you gonna get to that green if you first the, the, the first clear mucus is 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 the, the defense. You got clear mucus, okay. Now it start getting the yellow. Now you know you 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 going towards some problems, some sicknesses is developing. Now you got green mucus. Now you know it, it, it's a sickness going on. It's a sickness going on. You got this black mucus. You know you need to be trying to get this up at you asap. All right, okay. Mucus. Pay attention to what you have to spit up in the morning time. If you ever stood over the st uh, over the sink in the morning brushing your teeth and you had to cough up and spit that mucus up, okay. Pay attention. Pay attention. That yellow mucus you spit up in the morning time. That's what's causing you disease. That mucus that you spitting up in the morning time, okay. That what causing you disease. Excess. Too much of that. It's in your body. All right. Too much of that. Alright. Unhealthy vegan food. Here we go. I'm going to give you some more. Yeah, I done covered most of it. I got some more to go. I got some more to go. Hold on. I got some more to go. Cauliflower. Cauliflower is another unhealthy vegan option. Alright. Cauliflower has no nutritional value. 
It's a hybrid vegetable made by a process called selective breeding. Okay, which is creating a new lab plant and mixing it with the characteristics of an already existing plant. Did y'all understand that? Did y'all understand that? Cauliflower. Okay, I know y'all vegans, people like cauliflower wings and want to do this. Cauliflower is a hybrid vegetable. It has no nutritional value. It was made by a process called selective breeding. That's where you take a, create a lab plant, a laboratory plant, and mix it with the characteristics of an already existing plant, which make it a hybrid plant, which means it's no good, okay? They, we, you cannot create something that's going to be good for us. It's nothing that they can create that's going to be good for us. Okay, every everything that's good for us already grow naturally. It grow already that it is nothing that they can do or they can make that's gonna be natural. They gotta take it and hybridize it. Okay, the natural stuff is only made by the Creator that made the earth. Okay, it's nothing that they can make that's gonna be natural. Nothing. All right, then you got carrots. Carrots is a hybrid mix between the queen and lace and the wild yam. Carrot juice is no good. If you start itching, you drink that carrot juice, you make it start the itching, okay? Carrot juice ain't no good for you, all right? Mess with your central nervous system. It's no good for your eyes either, all right? So that big old lie, they done told us, if you got bad eyes, eat some carrots, all right? No, carrots is a hybridized vegetable, all right? The queen and lace and the wild yam got mixed together to make a carrot, okay? The carrot has no nutritional value. Beets, beets, beets is no good. Beets is no good. Beets is hybrid. They cause kidney stones. Beets mess with your digestive tract. They cause your stool to be red if you eat a, uh, too many of them. All right. Red stool ain't good. Red stool ain't good. I don't know if y'all know that. All right. That means you got some bleeding in your uh, digestive tract. All right. Red stool ain't good. All right. Then you got celery. Celery. Celery, celery is hybrid. It can cause enlarged thyroid, especially if you had thyroid issues before. All right, celery is an extreme example of man's transformation of plants, kin to the carrots, the parsley, the parsnips, and the dill. Celery grows in wild, moist, salty soils in Europe and Western Asia. It started out as a bitter, semi-poisonous weed with thin, hollow stalks. Alright? Celery started out as a bitter, semi-poisonous weed with thin, hollow stalks. Okay, California began growing celery in 1891 in Westminster. Alright? Westminster in 1891 when they started growing celery. Alright, all this stuff that we think good ain't no good. Alright, all this stuff we think good ain't no good. Okay, all this stuff, all this vegan desserts, vegan cookies, no good. Vegan cheesecakes, no good. Alright, no good, no good, no good. Check your ingredients. Check your ingredients. If your ingredients got a paragraph, put it back. You don't need it. It's already gonna have some stuff. You y'all, I, I can't understand why 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 people don't 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 care about the ingredients. I can't understand that. I can't understand how you don't care about the ingredients. Alright? How could you be a how could you be a uh, so-called uh, 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 
a female that's on your stuff? How can you be a man that's on your stuff and you don't care about what you're putting in you? You don't care about what you're putting in you? Like how you don't care? How, how you don't care is what I'm trying to, is what I'm getting at. How you don't care? All right. What's good for your eyes? You got to clean your pancreas. Clean your pancreas. That's what's good for your eyes. All right. Uh, diabetes herbs. Diabetes herbs. Diabetes herbs. Hold on one second. You need burdock, sour salt, a sea moss, nettle leaf, sarsap perilla, elderberry. Okay? That's what you need. All right? For your eyes, clean your pancreas. Then you want to go with some uh some eye bright for inflammation on the brain, blue vervain for inflammation on the brain. Okay? Your your small intestines, your pancreas, and your brain got to be clean in order for your eyes to clear up. All right? Okay? Blue vervain, nerve damage. Sarsap perilla, nerve damage. Burdock, nerve damage, okay? You have no electric flow, okay? Okay? So stop eating. Oh, I, I say, I'm going to say it 55 times. I'll say it again, all right? When you got an illness, is is it is, it is what's good for it. It is that. But it's more so of what you already doing what's causing you these problems. You eating all this trash. Alright. So if you gonna get these herbs and you ain't gonna change nothing about how you eating, don't bad mouth the herbs, alright? Cause it's, I'm I I don't explain it to you. If you get the herbs, it come with the understanding. That the diet gotta be clean. Alright? And I always, if you buy herbs from me, I got uh, a feel good plan recommended food list I send to you. A feel good plan uh, not recommended list of food I send to you. And then, depend on what herbs you order, say if you get an endo PCOS tonic, I send you the ingredients, what's in the tonic, tell you what each herb good for. Then I send you a paper on how to use it. Alright. So you get all these papers with your order. Answer all your questions right there. Okay. You can always reach me. Okay. On each social media. Instagram. Facebook. YouTube. TikTok. I'm available. Okay. Email. Alright. All that. Okay. How do you make the mushroom burgers you were talking about the other day? Um, that's easy. I got the video on my YouTube and I got the recipe in my ebook. Um, you just take some mushrooms, slice them up, um, cook you some wild rice or some quinoa if you want to. You ain't got to, but I do. Cook some wild rice. Get some mushrooms, chop them up, season them up, put some flour on it, about a cup of flour or more, put some sea moss gel on it, make some patties with them, make some patties that, uh, make some mushroom patties, okay, after you chop them up, make sure they sticking together, alright, and then just fry them, and then just fry them, like I said, I got the video on my YouTube Click that little link in my um, bio. Subscribe to the YouTube. Follow me on Instagram. If you wanna, if you want more recipes that I that I cook, macaroni, uh, fried mushroom, greens, waffles, chickpea curry, uh, all this good stuff. Okay, I got a recipe ebook for you on the website, carbonbasedfood.com. The link is in the bio. All right, all that. Okay, weight loss, ginger, you need ginger tea every morning for your weight loss, 
Alright. And then once again, meat, dairy, anything that's causing inflammation, anything that's causing waste, anything that's causing do you understand what gaining weight is? Okay? Gaining weight is when you eat something that your body don't recognize as food. Okay? Food is nutrition. Food is nutrition. You put it in your body to keep your body functioning properly. That's what food is. So when you go eat something like a burger that ain't food, your body don't recognize that. So your body got to be like, okay, wait a minute. What do I do with this? I create. So your body create fat deposits to store this food. The more this bad food you eat, the more fat deposits get created. The more fat get created, the heavier you get, the more weight you gain. Okay, that's what that's what gaining weight is. You eat food that your body don't recognize. The more you eat, the more fat get created, the more fat get stored on your body frame. Okay. Okay. So remove these foods from your life. Remove these foods from your life. Add the herbs to clean out the organs so they can function. All right. Yeah, only rice. On, it, listen, anything that they taught us that we know of that's healthy, everything that they taught us, y'all remember? Okay, it started from school. It started from school. If you remember health class, how they um, I can remember walking to health class, walking into the classroom. They got the little poster on the door. They got the healthy breakfast. It got toast, bacon, egg, on juice. Okay, all this supposed to be a healthy breakfast. All right, all this false, all this false. Okay. Anything that they told us, okay, is wrong. Y'all got to understand. The medical industry don't need healthy people. They need sick people. What would be the use of the hospital if everybody was healthy? What would be the use of the hospital if everybody was healthy? No. The cycle is you got to keep sick people in order for the hospital to stay in business think about it sick people got to get created in order for the hospital to stay in business okay they can't preach uh alkaline food listen when my when my granny was in the hospital with cancer they don't even offer Vegan options. They give you turkey and and peas and 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 all this. You see what I'm saying? It's their job to do that. So it's nothing about health that they telling us that's gonna be correct. They not trying to heal you. That's not their job. Okay. Okay. It's not their job. Yes, Phoebe. Yes. I don't sleep a lot. I don't I, I never sleep. I never sleep eight hours. I never sleep eight hours. You probably be up, moving around, energy up. Yes, I like the energy. She said, but is more or less sleep good. Um no, you good. You good. You good. You good. If your body, you 17, 18 days in, so your body don't went through a good, a good, good change. Good change. Your energy up, that's good. Your energy up, that's good. Okay? Yeah. 
Yeah, you don't gotta be you don't gotta be up at you don't gotta get eight hours of sleep. You can't force yourself to sleep now. Okay? You can't force yourself to sleep. I be up at three. Look, you be I be up at three, four in the morning. Like like not like tonight. I probably go to bed about twelve or so. But four AM, shoot, I'm up. You see you know I be up every morning on Facebook. You know I be up. You see me posting every morning. I be up every morning. I'm on the same time. 4.30, 4 a.m., I'm up. I can't sleep past 5 or 6. I just can't. Why are eggs so addictive? Man, listen. I don't know why they're addictive. Okay? But I can tell you this. They bad for your cholesterol. They bad for your cholesterol. All right? It's bad for your cholesterol. The eggs is so bad for you. you the, the, the Food and Drug Administration can't even put it on the category list of healthy foods. That's how bad it is. All right. Think about it. An egg is a dang on chicken baby. It's a chicken baby. You, they don't, they don't want to stole the chicken baby from the chicken and then put it in the dang on cart and they're going to treat it like it's an egg. The yolk is going to form into the dang on chicken. The egg yolk is what's going to form into the chicken. Come on. It's they, yes, it's their job. It's their job. Steak no good. Any type of protein that they told you. Any kind of protein. That they told you was good. Okay. Let me now, 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 now listen. Listen to this. I'm sure everybody that's on this live right now, you've been eating protein your whole life. Your whole life. You've been eating protein. You raised on protein. When they barbecue on 4th of July, they got number sausages and hamburgers and hot dogs and protein. All right. If it's one. Okay, food or health option that we supposed to be full of is protein. Protein supposed to be so good for us now. Protein supposed to be good for us. We've been eating meat all our life. We full of protein. If protein so good, why everybody sick? We full of protein. We supposed to be able to fight off some of these diseases that that's 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 we full of protein. We full of this. They say it's uh, one of the 19 amino acids. The building block of life. The building block of life. Okay. If protein this good and we've been smacking on it 20, 30 years. Why come we ain't healthy? Why come we ain't around here pushing down brick buildings? Why come we ain't healthy like oxes? You feel me? Why we ain't healthy? If protein so good for us, why we ain't healthy? Why when I take meat out of my diet, I get better? Okay. Why does red meat cause cancer? Why does red meat cause enlarged thyroid? How is protein good and it's causing us all these problems? Somebody going to tell a lie in a minute. Alright Somebody gonna tell a lie in a minute Beans ain't good No Garbanzo beans Chickpeas That's good Chickpeas Them good Them the only beans Wild rice Is the only rice I would tell you to eat You know If you vegan And you got to get your yellow rice That's on you I'm saying the best rice to get Wild rice Wild rice. Alright. Chickpeas. Chickpeas. Garbanzo beans. Garbanzo beans. Yeah. Fonio is good. No. Any meat is bad. Any fish gonna rot in your gut. It's gonna rot in your intestines. Okay? Fish gonna rot in your intestines. If listen, if it got a head. If it got eyes, 
If it got a heartbeat, okay? If somebody got to kill it and cook it for you to eat it, it ain't no good for you. Okay? All right? If you got to go and kill a fish, if you got to go and kill a deer, if you got to go and kill a hog, you got to go and kill a cow, all right? You ain't no real meat eater. Real meat eaters don't cook they meat. They just go eat it. Look at a tiger and a lion. I dare you to go stand in a cage with one. I dare you. I bet you that tiger and lion don't waste his time trying to throw your ass on the griller. He going to devour you. Okay? Then he going to lick his teeth, lick the blood off his teeth with his tongue. All right? That's what meat eaters do. Meat eaters don't worry about seasoning no meat with no dang on paprika and no dang on curry and coriander. That way ain't what no meat eater do. All right? Meat eater ain't worried about tenderizing the meat and throwing it on the grill and seasoning it with. That man ain't what meat eaters do. Meat eaters see meat, want meat, eat meat. All right? All right? Fruits are alive. Yes. Fruits are alive. War damn. War damn eagle. Alright. Are y'all just not coming in here? Who went over the in laws thyroids and stuff already? Alright. Okay. Blue vervain. In laws petitor petitory gland. Blue vervain. Fever few. Padiarco. Elderbear. Sarsal perilla. All right, they have to raise their own meat, then adjust to raw meat diet. Okay. All right. He to my there are people who eat all their meat raw, and I bet they stinking too. I bet they raw. I bet they funky. I bet they funky. Okay. I bet you they funky. Guarantee they funky. Guarantee you. You go to the bathroom, you're going to be stinking. If you don't eat nothing but raw meat, guarantee you. All right? All right? And y'all think, y'all think you're just supposed to be stinking. When you go to the bathroom, the normal, the normal C is, it just supposed to stink. Because you're taking a doo-doo. It's supposed to stink. No. You, your body's stinking. You got all this old meat done rotted in you. That's, that's all it is. It's rotten meat done rotted in you. Now you now you do doing. Now it's stinking. Because it's still rotting and it's coming up out of you. Alright. Now you got all these worms in you. You got all these parasites in you. Alright. You got all these heavy metals in you. Alright. And then you wondering why you getting all these STDs. You wondering why. Okay. Parasites. Alright. You wonder why you got all these colon and gut issues. Parasites. Alright. Y'all, 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 it, it's so much you gotta it's so much more you gotta learn. It's so much more. Alright. So much more. Alright. God said I can eat it. Happy vegan to you though. God ain't told that lie. Y'all need to stop lying on God. God ain't saying nothing by eating no meat. Y'all need to stop. Just cause y'all, just cause, just cause you a Bible built believer, okay? I don't mean to get religious, okay? But by now, it's 2022. By now, okay, it's enough people in the world, okay, to understand that the Bible is not what 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 the Christian people of the old times t told us that it was. It ain't that. Alright? It ain't that. So don't come talking about how Jesus fed all these people with fish and all this. Okay? They were drinking. They were drunk. Alright? They had to eat some fried fish. They were drunk. Alright? But look. He told you in the beginning. 
urge for the healing of the nation. Then he told you all the fruit bearing herbs on the trees. This to you shall be for meat. Told you to use the fruit for the meat. All right. Then you got all these people that done that done uh plagiarized the Bible. You got King James them plagiarizing the Bible. You got all these Shakespeare them plagiarizing the Bible. They taking out parts of the Bible. They leaving them parts what they want in there. They 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 are uh, oppressing people with it. They doing all these stuff in the name of the Bible and all this stuff. And they passing it on down. Then now y'all done got hung up on it. Done got caught up on it. And I, I can't understand for the life of me how you can sit and understand that you being as, as, as black people, you being oppressed. Okay. By these people who don't look like you, but your, but your savior, the one that's going to save you. Don't look nothing like you. It look like the people that's oppressing you. Make that part make sense to me. At least have your savior be the same color as you. At least that much. Now I can at least think you got a little bit of common sense. At least you think somebody that's going to save you look like you. At least that much. All right. But we're going on back. We're going on back. All right. She said, what about the spleen? What about the spleen? Uh, uh, the spleen is, uh, see, look, y'all got me, y'all got me want to laugh at these comments. <laughs> yeah, but look, uh, once again, elderberry, dandelion, yellow dock, okay? And, and again, and again, when you trying to heal something, what are you willing to stop eating? That's my question to y'all. What y'all willing to stop eating? Is you going to stop eating your meat? Is you going to stop drinking this milk? Is you going to stop eating these microwave foods? Is you going to stop going to put the pop tarts in the microwave in the morning? Is you going to stop being 45 years old and got to eat a bowl of cereal? Okay, are you going to stop doing that? If you ain't going to stop doing that, your problems is not going to stop. Your problems ain't going nowhere. Your problems ain't going nowhere. All right. So get on your diet. Clean your diet. Fasting, detoxing. All right. Fruits, herbs, water. All right. It's pink Himalayan salt and water. Good one on a fast. Just do like key lime water. You need to get some sea salt. Not pink Himalayan. Sea salt. Sea salt. How you use fresh dandelion root? You can eat it. You can eat it. You can eat a fresh dandelion root. You can cut it up. Dry it out in the sun. Make tea with it. You can do all kind of different things with the uh fresh dandelion root. All kind of things with it. You can do all kind of things with it. Okay. And then how you get rid of parasites? I just told you. Fit. Look, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna create me. I'm gonna create a fasting group. I'm gonna create a fasting group. Everybody that's trying to get rid of some, we're gonna fast. All right. We're going to have to fact because cause, cause, cause obviously y'all ain't listening to what I'm saying. Fasting. Detoxing. This how you heal. Fasting. Detoxing. This how you heal. How many times you want me to say it? Fasting. Detoxing. This how you heal. Alright. You just need the urge to assist you. Are you willing to stop Eating the stuff that's causing you all these issues. If you ain't, okay, nothing is going to change. If you're not going to stop eating meat, cleaning for parasites ain't going to do you no good. The question is, is you ready to stop eating 
was causing you these issues that's more of the question would need to be answered okay that's more the question that need to be answered all right sea moss sea moss good for thyroid sea moss good for energy sea moss good for making your hair grow sea moss good for skin sea moss good for uh skin irritation like rashes eczema psoriasis all right it's a binder so you can add in your food you can cook with it all right sea moss is the real deal all right all right how do i gain self-control meditating 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 learn how to meditate learn how to meditate okay learn how to not act during emotion whenever you emotional whenever something make you get emotional learn how to not act right then understand that any decision that you make when you emotional is the wrong way understand that any decision that you make when you emotional is the wrong all your logic went out the window you got no logic when you emotional okay no logic everything is an emotional decision you got no logic okay try not to act when you got emotions there calm down first then then proceed all right meditation help you gain self-control you it's not it's not so much controlling your thoughts all right you can let you you have all different kind of thoughts all right but just because you got a thought that don't mean that you gotta have think on it all day ponder on it all day you ain't gotta do that you can remove you can kick it out your brain you can remove a negative thought out your brain as soon as it come up soon as a negative thought come up in your brain you can uh, kick it out give me another thought all right you can do that this is how you start to gain self-control okay you ain't trying to control your thoughts you just trying to not let your thoughts control you all right okay that's how you gain some self-control example that food that are being eaten causes to comprehend say what now joy riser what's up south carolina unique lady what's going on she said what about when you bipolar same thing like i just got done like i just got done going over i just got done saying you, you got organ mouth any any illness any illness you've been eating some trash that's got your organs messing up or they done gave your illness a name that's all it is bipolar fast detox clean your body i am not gonna stop saying that routine whenever y'all ask me how to do something I'm going to say fasting and detoxing. That's all I'm going to say from now on. Until y'all understand that what you got to do. Fast and detox. I ain't going to give you no more herbs. Until y'all understand. That you got to change the diet. So whenever you ask me. How you get rid of some again. I'm going to say. Fasting. Detox. Alright. Just so you can understand. That's the most important part. The herbs is good to have, but if you ain't going to change the diet, all right, you defeating the process, all right, you defeating the process, healing take each individual person participation 100%, okay, if you want to heal, it take you, you got to do it, you got to go through all the pains and aches, you got to go through all the testimonials you got to go through all the not so good days you got to go through all them just to get to the good days just to get to the good days all right 
you got to go through the pain first to experience the joy. All right? You got to go through the pain first. All right? You got to go through the pain first. All right? Hold on. struggling what you struggling with what you struggling with what are you struggling with um miss uh m m k a z z six three what you struggling with what are you struggling with what you struggling with what's a good detox for women uh um uh, I told you, if you're a woman, do what you need. Red Clover. Red Clover. You need you a fast, like Phoebe, like, uh, like, um, underscore dot Phoebe. She on the live with us. Y'all follow her. She follow me on Facebook. All right. She on a fast right now. She on her day number 18. She on day number 18 with her fasting. She got her herbs. She took her herbal bath. She ain't, and uh, matter of fact, she ain't ate, she ain't ate in two days. She on a dry fast now because she ain't been, had no taste for no fruits or nothing. So she been, she been thugging it out. She been thugging it out with no eating. She been drinking her water. She been on her herbal baths. So y'all add her on Facebook. Y'all, y'all, y'all link in. This how you heal. You heal by, listen, whatever environment that you in when you get sick, okay? If you're doing a bunch of going out to eat, if you're doing a bunch of cooking, if you're doing a, whatever environment that you doing, okay? All right? You're going to have to change that environment if you want to heal, all right? If you're around a bunch of people that's, that's, Promoting you to go out and eat every day when you knowing that going out to eat ain't even what you want to be doing. You want to be, a, you want to get around, you want to change your environment. Get around people that's going, you know, talk about fasting, talk about healing, talk about eating fruit, talk about progressing, talk about maturing, talk about growing, all right? Talk about goals in life, talk about dreams, all right? Get around people that's talking about having something for themselves. All right? You will, you will see that once you change your diet, your whole thought process is going to change. You're going to want to be around positive people. You're going to want to be around people that's doing something for themselves. You ain't going to be lethargic no more. You're going to have some motivation by yourself. You're going to have some get up and go get it by yourself. All right? Long as your diet bad, you might you might be doing something good about yourself, but you gonna have some issues. And if you ain't got nothing going for yourself and your diet bad, you probably can't get out of that little small paradigm because you full of disease. You full of parasites. Alright? Parasites causing you everything. Parasites causing your brain not to think right. Parasites causing your your digestive system to mess up. Parasites causing you to be scratching your leg at night time. Feel like you got bed bug crawling on you all in the in the bed when you're sleeping. Parasites causing you all these STDs y'all don't even know. Okay, parasites is what's causing you all this. Par what? How you parasites causing you all these STDs y'all don't even know. Okay, parasites is what's causing you all this. Par what? How you get parasites in you? From meat, don't you? If you if you see dead meat and you let it and you and it decay for a couple of days, don't you see maggots inside the meat? Okay, now that same dead meat you done cooked it and you think it done done something because you cooked it and it's still dead and it's still gonna rot when it get inside your belly. Okay, so what could rotten meat produce? Worms. Okay. Worms. All right. 
Her name is underscore dot Phoebe right here on the live with us. Her name is underscore. I'm going to put it in the chat. Underscore dot V P H E B E. That's her name right there. Follow her on Facebook. She she doing her thing right now on her 18 day fast. All right. Yeah. She doing her thing right now. E fruit detox. Uh, look, you going through um M K A Z Z. Michelle Griffin. You just going through. Listen, whenever you whenever you introducing something new to your body, to your life. All right. You used to not eating healthy, okay? So when you start introducing a new healthy eating to your life, all right, you're going to have some symptoms, headaches, all right, joint pains, all right, all these different kind of things might start bothering you, all right? That's because your body is going through this adjustment period. Your body saying, oh, wait a minute. Oh, long. You don't finally gave us some we can use. All right. Now, when your body start transporting all these nutrients to where it's supposed to go, if you had some, some arthritis that was finished start, if you had some high blood pressure, if you had some headaches, all right, when your body started to clean out all these organs, you might experience some of them same symptoms again as your body is cleaning out. All right, you might experience some of them same symptoms again as your body start cleaning out. That don't mean deviate from the fruits and the herb. That means keep on going, put more in you. Alright, so when you struggling, just understand you've been addicted to these foods, what you think is food, ain't even food, it's really drugs, alright, and made up stuff, you addicted, so that's why you struggle when you want to stop, okay, it's just like a drug, it's like any drug, it's like any drug, okay, if you want to stop doing something, you struggle with it right away. You, It's a man battle with you. Alright. That's like any drug. You go to sleep at night. You get to sweating. You're going through withdrawals. You're tossing and turning. You, Okay. Understand this. You addicted. You should want to shake that. You should want to shake that. Alright. No fool got the power over you. You got the power over the food, all right? You ain't, you ain't. And then we got to stop making fun of being unhealthy, all right? Stop making fun of that junk, okay? Stop making Facebook posts talking about how you sitting in the bed at 2 a.m. with your bowl of ice cream and, 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 uh, and, 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 and what kind of cake, lemon cake, okay? You know what you doing. I, the more sweets that you eat, like ice cream and stuff, that means that you want to feel nurtured, okay? You missing something. You can tell by what somebody eat, okay? If you like salty stuff, salty things, okay, you got anger issues, okay? But if you like, like chocolates and ice cream, like sweet stuff, you craving for affection. You craving for to be nurtured. Okay, that's what you really missing. And you replacing that with ice cream. You replacing that with all this stuff. What's playing bad on you. Okay, that's what's giving you your endometriosis. That's what's giving you your fibroids. And what's giving you all the ovaries on your cysts. I mean, all these uh, cysts on your ovaries. That's what's giving you all these, all this stuff. Your uh, cervical cancer. Because you laying in the bed, you consuming all this dairy, you eating all this cheese, you eating all this chocolate, all this ice cream, all this cake, all this sugar, drinking all these drinks, eating all this chicken, drinking a Pepsi right behind it, chasing it down, okay? This was causing you all these problems, all right? What is the herb all the way to the left? You talking about this right here? Cascara Sagrada? This red clover? 
this mullion mullion leaf good for your lawn so right now if you know right now anytime we got the virus going on all right so if you so uh mullion leaf is good for your respiratory system for the virus all right cascara sagrada it's a bitter herb it's good for your colon hemorrhoids digestive tract colitis okay inflammation all that good stuff then the red clover is the female number one herb all right okay all right you gonna go through some withdrawals that's part of it okay understand that it's a process listen when i first started changing my diet to eat healthy it took me about six to eight months to just fully 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 switch okay i go two weeks where i'm on my fruits i'm on my herbs i'm on my water by two weeks all right but the one thing that was holding me back was like um pepperoni pizza and deal pickle chips okay that cheese is bad for you i'm telling you that cheese is is dope it, it i'm telling you that cheese is addictive all right that's what had me pepperoni pizza and deal pickle chip i was dibbling and dabbling dibbling and dabbling two weeks good eating two weeks bad eating two weeks good eating two weeks bad eating all right but then as i just kept going and kept going then i realized wait a minute if i'm fasting and doing all this good stuff what's the use in me like keep on backtracking just to fast again like like no that ain't that's backwards what am i doing i said you know what i'm i'm on it i'm straight no meat no nothing and i quit after about eight months though okay so understand it's a process but you need to be fully committed to your health all right you need to be understanding i'm stopping this i'm stopping doing this all right i made up in my mind i said you know what i ain't eat no more burgers i ain't eat no more chicken none of that and i used to love pork chops as a little bit of kid Pork chops was my thing. Pork chop with the hot sauce on it. All right, that was my thing. All right, no more. I made that decision in my own mind. All right, to be disciplined enough to say, you know what? I don't even care if I walk into the corner store and they just throw some chicken in the dang on uh. In the little dang on thing right there where they got the little soak. I ain't. I don't want it. All right. Every time I go into the store and I walk out of there with don't get no chicken, I walk out of there, I don't get no cake, I feel good. Okay? That's how you're going to start feeling. You're going to start feeling good. You're going to be like, damn, I can say no to that. I don't really need it. You're going to start to feel good. Damn, I can't go a whole day without meat. Damn, that made me feel, you're going to start to feel good about yourself, okay? This is going to empower you to stop. You're going to be like, you know what? That junk ain't even what I thought it was. It ain't even real, all that. That's how you're going to start to feel, all right? That's how you're going to start to feel, okay? You know you're making progress then. You know you're making progress then. All right? Um, uh, goat cheese, I don't, I ain't, I, I say no, I say no, okay, you can make you some cheese, walnut cheese, Brazil nut cheese, you can get you a butternut squash, that's my favorite kind of cheese to make, I get me a butternut squash, I split it down the middle, I season it real good, how I want my, how I want the taste, I throw it in the oven about 40 minutes. Take it out. 
good it, throw it in a blender, add a little coconut milk, add some hemp seeds, a little bit of sea salt, just a little bit of water, blend it so it can get real smooth, real, real, real smooth, okay? I use that for my cheese, okay? Whenever I make my vegetable ratatouille, whenever I do any type of anything that need cheese with it, I make my cheese with my butternut squash, all right? You can get it creamy and smooth as you want it. Just blend it, all right? Again, I got all these videos on my YouTube. Hit the link in my bio, the little Instagram tab. Subscribe to the YouTube. Follow me on Instagram, all right? Scroll down my YouTube. Check out all the videos I got, all the cooking the foods I got on there. Uh, Check it out. Go check it out. Go check it out. And see how to cook some of this stuff. You could, I show you. I got, I got videos already with them on there. I already show you how to make it. All right. If you need recipes, got a recipe book on the website. The link in my bio, carbonbasedfood.com. All right. All right. It's definitely a mindset thing. War and blueberries is great. War eagle. War eagle. I, I'm not vegan. I'm alkaline. I've been alkaline for three years now. I've been alkaline for three years now. Three years now. When I first, when I first, when I first started, I was like, man, I don't know how I'm going to do it. And the crazy thing is, I was never a cooker before I started eating healthy. When I was just a regular eater, I didn't cook nothing. I ain't cook nothing, nothing. When I when I became a healthy eater, alkaline, I, I the first thing I did, I took my microwave, I unplugged it, I threw it in the trash. I threw my microwave in the trash can. At the first thing I did, first thing I did, that let me know I was gonna have to cook. That let me know right then, right there, I was gonna have to cook. Alright, so, hold on, so from there, it was on, it was on from there, hold on, I'm trying to get on live real quick. I'm trying to get on my live real quick, it won't let me. My phone went dead. I'm trying to do it on my laptop. It won't let me. It won't let me. Somebody, somebody, uh, it won't let me. But anyway, I ain't gonna worry about it. I ain't gonna worry about it. Hold on. questions right away so if you see me get up that means i'm looking at y'all questions try to give you an answer all right all right all right my phone went dead okay so um if 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 the live freeze that means the battery going dead on the phone I'm using to go live, all right? I mean, it's going dead. I just throw the other phone on the charge. I'm trying to pull up the live on my laptop, but it won't let me. For some reason, it won't let me. I don't know why. That's crazy. Alright, but yeah, man, it took me, on. Um, like I said, it took me like eight months to just really just, you know, 
be a healthy eater. I wasn't a cooker before that. I did not used to cook at all. But that's when I knew I was taking it serious when I started to cook. And then when I when I first started, I didn't know how to make a lot of stuff. I, it was trial and error. It was trial and error. You know what I mean? I would I would now now when I cook, I love taking pictures. When I first started, I wasn't taking no pictures. I ain't want nobody to see. You know what I mean? But it just me over time kept on doing it, kept on doing it, kept on doing it, kept on doing it, kept on doing it. All right. Now it's second nature to me. All right. So once again, if you switching from standard American diet, okay, to a healthier eating, if you want to go to vegetarian, that's better than the, that's better than a standard American diet. But it's more levels to go. You go from standard American diet to vegetarian. You leave vegetarian, you go to vegan. You leave vegan, you go to uh, cooking alkaline. You leave from the cooking, you go to the raw. All right, you get to the raw alkaline. That's like the highest form of pure eating you can do. Okay, your raw fruits and vegetables, water. All right, if you can go days where you go just on a water fast or days where you just on like a dry fast, that's even better. All right, the less you can eat is is better for you. It's better for you. All right, it's better. If you travel a lot, if you travel a lot, if you travel a lot, you definitely need to be one of them old fruit people. You need to be a fruit. You need to be, and you need, you need you need to eat. Uh, keep you some nuts with you. Keep you some Brazil nuts with you. Keep you some wild nuts with you. All right, and then you need to start looking up places like uh, um, uh, shoot, I can't even say vegan places. But it's a couple places, man, that's got like alkaline options. Or you can make them like get you a salad or, you know what I mean? You gotta, you gotta set yourself up to where you don't got no excuse to make. Alright? That's when you know you on your way. Alright? When you can sit down at home and be like, you know what? I'm doing this because I ain't finna be stopping talking about what I'm gonna eat this and this. I'm gonna take this with me. I'm doing this. I'm doing this. I got this with me because I ain't finna be wondering how I'm gonna eat my ass. You know what I'm saying? Make yourself not have an excuse. Okay? That's gonna help you. That's gonna help you. Try to be as preventive as you can. Try to be as preventive as you can. Alright. Yeah. Yeah. That's the thing too. Yes. You know what? I like how you said that. How um that is that's 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 a good way to say it. Um, we don't need to be dependent on food, especially just like for pleasure, for leisure. That's that's when we eat. Today, that's when we eat for pleasure, for leisure. All right, and then we just get the throwing stuff together. You a dang gone take a dang gone bag of Doritos and crunch them up and and make a whole bunch of Dorito wing. Like, what is you like? What is we doing? What is we doing? We take all these. We make all these different kind of. What is we doing? We the, like we the. I was reading the um. It was an article. It was talking about um how obesity. Is it how bad it is in America? And it was saying how Americans is the only people that play with food. 
they were saying it. They said it to say like we make a lot of desserts, a lot of stuff that's pleasing to the eye. That's what we do a lot of. We play with food a lot, okay. Make a lot of stuff that's pleasing to the eye. It ain't necessarily good. We don't really care if it's good. Okay. In America, we don't care if food bad for us. You you can tell somebody right now, look at him, bro, man. Look, that them, them sauce is bad. Man, I don't care about no sauces. You ain't gonna tell you to have me eat no rabbit meat, no rabbit food. You know what I'm saying? You gotta argue with him. You gotta argue with him. Alright. So people don't even kill. People don't care. Yup, see this fruit bad too, yup. It see this fruit point. See this fruit point. Seedless fruit is pointless, y'all. Seedless fruit is pointless. Alright? It really is. Now, I understand if you're living in the area, like I said, some of y'all live up north, Indianapolis, Chicago. I know y'all might got a hard time right, trying to find stuff. But again, y'all need to look up some farmer's market. Google some farmer's market local, uh, in your area. Google farmer's market in your area. Google international markets in your area. Okay. Do what you can do. To try to limit. Alright. Your access to the seedless stuff. Alright. You want to get some with some seeds in it. That's what you want. Alright. They change the makeup of the fruit. To seedless. If they change the DNA makeup of the fruit, the gene makeup of the fruit, all the gene, all that's gonna do is change yours, change your gene makeup, GMO. They genetically modified the organism. So if you put a genetically modified organism in this original organism, it's gonna genetically modify it. All right. This organism right here is the is the is the main organism on the planet. The body right here. Your body, my body, everybody body. Alright? Everybody body is a prized possession. Your body. This body I got is a prized possession. The body you got, the body you got, the body you got, the body you got, the body you got is a prized possession. Alright? It's a prized possession. They got all these industries, okay, that pick away from the body, parts of the body, to get paid from it. All right? They'll take hair surgery, they remove stuff, organ donors, uh, uh, cut your tooth, all this stuff they can do to this, to this. Okay. What they what what they capitalize on it? Cause you don't even realize that this right here is 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 this this luxury. This luxury. This luxury. All right. You don't even realize your body luxury. You letting them pick from it. You just letting them pick from your body. Your only look. This the only place you got to live in the whole world. After after this after this body gone, you ain't no more. Now don't not unless not unless you coming back. But ain't no more you. Ain't no more you. Right here as you see you right now. Ain't no more you after this body gone. Ain't no more you. Why would you let them pick from it? All because you won't change your diet. You won't change your diet. You won't change your diet. You'll do everything else. You'll go to the doctor. You'll get on all these prescription pills. You'll go through all this therapy. You'll go through all this chemo. You'll go through all this chem run. You'll go through all this mammogram. You'll go through. You'll go through all this laparoscopy. You'll go through all this. 
you will go through all this, but you won't stop and think just one time. Wait a minute. Hold on. Let me just change what I'm eating for a minute. That thought that never crossed your mind. That's what I'm saying. Okay. That changing the diet is the only thing we ain't thought to do. You don't thought to do everything else but change what you eat. That let you know you addicted. Cause if you can't eat, if you can't if that thought can't come across your mind, that's telling me you thinking, well shit. I don't give a damn what I do. I know what I ain't gonna do. I ain't gonna stop eating my 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 food, my 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 my, my chitlins and my you know what I'm saying? That what you're saying? Yes, let food. ATL vegan. What's up? Look. Shout out. Shout out vegan queen ATL, y'all. It paused on me. I told y'all if it paused, that means my battery going dead, all right? We, we've been live by the what? By what? By the hour some change now. I had a full battery when we started. Uh, I'm, at, I'm, at, I'm at 10%. It's on power mode right now. Alright, but um vegan queen ATL, y'all give her a follow Chrissy Creations. I see you girl. I see you. Y'all follow Chrissy. Chrissy Creations. I see you. I see you. Alright. Yo. Yo. Alright. Yo, man. So uh hold on. Hold on. Nah, look. She's you in this random exit. Nah, look. I had my um, I had my other phone, but it went dead, and I was able to check the comments on the live with my other phone, but it died on me. So whenever I get up, I be checking the comments, see what y'all saying, see if I got to answer a question. But um, but yeah, I don't know if you just came in the live or not or what, but we've been live for a little minute. Um, I have to turn my phone. So I'm about to get off, but I'm going to be back live tonight. I'm going back again, like 11 o'clock. It's 944 right now. I'm going to get some juice on the phone. I'm going to get some juice on the phone. I'm going to come back by 1130, 12. I'm going to be live to probably about 1, 130. All right. We're going to talk about, uh, hold on. What my, what my thing I was going to talk about? I'm gonna cover it. We're gonna talk about uh We're gonna talk about uh what is it? We did caffeine, we did drugs, we did smoking, we did alcohol, I we did uh um allergies, infections. Alright, the effects of space travel on the body. Alright, how the body ages, how the body responds to stress, your hormones. If your hormones unbalance, you be stressed a lot. If your hormones is unbalanced, you be stressed a lot, okay? Your hormones control how you respond to stress. Alright. So that's why it's good to always have balanced hormones. Hormone imbalance gonna lead to some 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 stressful, depressing times. Alright. Alright, I'm gonna be back at about eleven, eleven thirty. Gonna go over all this little stuff. Might cover the liver. Okay. How the kidneys produce urine. How the kidneys control blood pressure. Alright. All that good stuff. Okay. All that. And then. uh, Remember. Like I'm telling you. I'm going to read this to you. Get right here. This this good information for you. Alright. If you're just trying to heal. Okay. If you've been in home here live with me. You done seen me say this before. Alright. Number one. You want to heal yourself? You got to change your environment. 
All right, the same environment that you got sick in cannot be the same one that you heal in. All right, if you around a bunch of people that's gonna question you for taking your herbs, gonna laugh at you for eating your fruits all day, gonna laugh at you. All right, you need to don't be around them. That's not the environment that you're gonna be able to heal in. You need to be around like minded people all right even if it means being lonely all right all that's gonna lead to is you having self growth that's what it all about that's what it's all about as you grow i know you got some associates you got you know that you think your friends all right and then you don't want to outgrow them you as you grow you want to take them with you all right you can't take everybody with you you can't take everybody with you. All right. Some of your associates might got to stay behind. The people that's for you going to be for you as you grow. As you grow, it's going to be more people that's going to be for you on your level of growth. All right. On your level of growth. And then you got to understand cravings and why your brain is receiving these thoughts during healing. Okay. Understand cravings like I was just explaining to you a while ago how the cheese was doing me how the pepperoni pieces was doing me Okay, how the deal pickle chips was doing me All right, it's a battle in your mind when I finally made up in my mind and said, you know what? I ain't eat no more burgers. I ain't eat no more chicken. I ain't eat. okay. I did it But that after I made up I made a conscious decision Okay, I said, ah, you know what? That's it. That's it. I'm gone with it. All right? Hold on. Make sure I ain't pause. All right? Yeah. All right? And then, and then, and then you want to, uh, and then the, the food, the food that you craving, it don't got no power over you. All right? You got the power over the food. Just cause you think about that food, that don't mean nothing. You can kick that thought out your brain. Alright? That don't mean you gotta eat it. You only do wrong when you eat the food. You go to the store while you on the drive to the store, you thinking about it. You go to the store, you go in there, you pick it up, you still thinking about it. You go to the cat register, you buy it, you look at it, you put it in your bag, you still thinking about it. You get in the car, you're still thinking about it. You ain't did wrong yet. You ain't did wrong yet. Soon as you get to the house, get to the, uh, go in the house, open that bag, open that big old mouth and put it in there and eat it, then you just messed up. You just messed up, all right? The food don't got no power. You got to go get the food, the power to mess you up. You got to go to the store, get it, pay your money for it. You got to bring it home. You get the food, the power. No, you got the power. All right? You got the power. All right? Spring water only. All right? Stay on your herbs, even if it seems like it's working slowly. Even if it seems like it's working slowly, stay on your herbs, all right? Eat mainly raw fruits and vegetables, okay? When you cooking, you want to use an alkaline food guide or Dr. Seba Nutritional Guide, all right? If you need that, email me, carbonbasedfood at gmail.com. I'll send it to you, all right? If you go on my website and you buy the cookbook volume 2, Alkaline food list come with the cookbook. Everything in there for you. All right. Then you want to meditate. Learn to meditate. All right. Peace is underrated. Peace is underrated. All right. It's not enough people in the world that want peace. Too many people want drama. Too many people want to be beefing because this she talking to this man husband and he talking to his girlfriend and they at church they bickering about each other what they win and they at work they can't get along and don't nobody want no peace nowhere. 
Alright. Peace underrated. Peace underrated. Meditate. Meditate. Alright. Then you want to listen to sound healing music. Okay. Sound healing music. Okay. This help you. Alright. Then you want to do some yoga. Some stretching. Alright. All of this stuff in a combination gonna lead to a lifestyle change that's gonna lead to you growing growth all right growth that's what it's all about in your life your life ain't about if 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 your best friend nisha gonna like how you grew no you ain't trying to impress nisha you trying to live your life correctly so when you die it's on you Nisha ain't going to die with you. Alright. So your growth is on you. If you want to sit around. Till you 35, 45 years old. Till you finally decide to grow up and mature. That's on you wasting all that time in your life. That's on you wasting all that time. You trying to stick behind. Because you don't want to leave your friend with you. That's on you. Alright. Your growth is on you. They're going to say, oh, look at you. You acting funny now. You don't got it. No. I'm growing. You don't want to grow. All right. I wouldn't recommend beats for nothing. I wouldn't recommend beats for nothing. I don't know if you was you probably wasn't in here a while ago when you missed the little um you missed the uh thing when I went over. I'll tell you about beats. Beats is no good. Okay. Uh beats hybrid. They cause kidney stones. Alright. It mess with the digestive tract. It called the stool to be red, okay? Red stool ain't good. Anytime you got a red stool, that means you got blood in a digestive tract. Alright? Beets is hybrid, my brother. Beets, carrots, cauliflower, celery, potatoes. Hybridization. Alright? So I wouldn't recommend that at all. Okay? Yeah, carrots are hybrid. Yeah, carrots are hybrid. Carrots are made from a queen and lace mix with a wild yam. A wild yam is mixed with a queen and lace. That's how they make a carrot. It's not good for your eyes. All right. Celery is not good. Celery juice. Celery is a hybrid. It can cause enlarged thyroid. Especially if you had thyroid problems before. Celery is an extreme example of man's transformation of plants. Kin to the carrots, the parsley, the parsnips. Celery grows in the wild. In moist, salty soils in Europe and Western Asia. It started out as a bitter, semi-poisonous weed with thin, hollow stalks. Westminster, California, 1891 is when they began growing celery. Westminster, California, 1891. So check this out. I gotta go. Alright. So look, I'm finna get off of here, alright? I'm finna get off of here. I'ma charge my device. If y'all up, come on back in here. I'ma reboot. I'ma recharge. Alright. If y'all up in like an hour or so, come on back in here. Alright. We're gonna go over. We're gonna get in the book. We're gonna get in the book. Alright. 
I got some, if y'all need some herbs, I got some more herbs right here I can give you out there, book. I give you what's good, okay? Now, every herb in these books ain't good herbs, all right? But I can distinguish, okay, the difference, all right? So, I got you. Come on back in here when I come on back live. So, follow me. Don't go nowhere. Don't go nowhere. I'm going to be right back in a, in a few, in a few, all right? Holla at your boy. Hey, I don't, I, right now, you shouldn't be rolling no tide right now, all right? Right now, you need to be trying to get that bulldog off for you. Get that bulldog off your back right now, all right? All right, I'll be back. Okay, cool, cool. Appreciate you, Miss uh, Yahweh. Uh, how you say your name? A-D-A-H-Y-A-H. I don't know how to say it, but I like how it's spelled. I like how it's spelled. Alright. Alright. I'm going to be back, y'all, okay? Give me a couple. Give me about an hour to reboot. Give me about an hour to reboot. We're going to be back, okay? We're going to cover some good stuff. I might go over the fight. Every time I go over on the live, somebody asks about fight bros, alright? I might go over that one more time for you before we get off, alright? Alright? Okay? So just come on back and holler at your boy. All right, peace out.